Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in the very simplistic alveoli alveoli yoli yoli oi 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 Wee. anyway this was developed by Emil Ismailov and Denis Petrov published by Sometimes You and is as usual available for another very simplistic but wonderful £4.19 so this is pretty much as simple as it gets. The whole premise of the game is uh, spent being uh, around being a man on a hamster wheel, running for a bit, and we have to press the A slash cross button on the PlayStation button now and again just to jump over an obstacle. Like I said, it's a simple game. <laughs> now all the achievements are for collecting cards, and the way we do that is basically inputting a sequence in each run. So for instance, we may need to jump over the obstacle all seven times, other times we need to jump over it five times and hit it twice, etc. But what I've done is uh, I've got the solution for every collectible card on the screen and timestamps in the comments section below for anyone that needs help with them. So there's not a lot else to say really except let's get it on. Oh crap, sorry, forgot. Bad singer, cat being strangled, etc. Right, so the first thing we're going to do then is simply press the left bumper button and there's a hidden picture in the top left hand corner and if we press that left bumper button that is the one that will get us the detective collectible card and the detective achievement uh, yeah so that's pretty much as easy as it comes so for the rest of the game then what you need to do is press A to start and to be honest I'm already knackered looking at this guy running I'm already coughing my guts up Jesus Christ so just press and hold the A button and then what he's going to do is do like a Big sausage jump. Like he's trying to get over a sausage curb, I suppose. Yeah, no. Anyway, <laughs> so we've got the fast space one. So that's what I've done then. So for every level then, what we're going to see from now on, we're going to say jump 20 times. So obviously you, kn you know to press the A button 20 times until the next card, which is the kangaroo card. Now, what I've done, like I said, for the on-screen, I've put jump or hit. And as you'll be able to see, um, yeah, <laughs> so as, it, as you'll be able to see there, the obstacle coming around, you either jump over it or you hit it. It's as pretty much as simple as that. And if it gets too complicated for you, well, maybe you'll have to be put down. No, <laughs> I'm just joking. No, please, no, I'm just joking. I love you. Uh, right, so anyway, so for this one, for instance, we need to obviously hit the obstacle three times. Again, that's simple. You literally just press the A button once and let old uh, Usain Bolt here take the hits a couple of times. Or Mo Farah, I suppose. He was the uh, Olympic 1500 meter blah, blah, blah. Lots of running, etc. He was the guy, right? Yeah, right. So that's it. Then obviously you've got the... Uh, Cards on the left and right there, yeah, not, again, not a lot going on on screen, which is uh, sometimes what you want after a stressful day at work, wanting to smash someone's head in on the desk. We've all been there. Oh, another game calls us a coward for thinking that. Well, sorry. Yeah, up your guts, man. So, now it sort of starts getting a bit more complicated. Now, you don't just jump seven times. What we need to do now is actually jump over the obstacle seven times. Now, the best way to do this, to get a jump to actually um, count, is you need to hit the last jump over the obstacle on the last square, just before the obstacle, as you can see there. If you jump too early, you'll actually hit the obstacle, and it won't actually count. So that is what you need to do with that. So as soon as it comes around, on the last square, then you need to jump. So, you know, it's not all mine. I mean, you do have to... <laughs> You do have to actually watch and uh, take control of the situation. Uh, they don't have it all your own way. Um, but, uh, yeah, n not a lot else to say for these levels, except... Bapa booey, bapa booey. Whatever the hell that means.
And, you know, so obviously, uh, again, I'm not obviously going to explain absolutely everything because it's pretty obvious what you need to do by now. But, um, if you, like I said, with the jumping aspect, if it goes through the whole thing and you don't get the collectible card achievement, that obviously means that you either jump too early or accidentally hit the obstacle. Um, but the best thing I found was to, every time you jumped, obviously we've got to jump now for the next six times. So, obviously, I just counted as I went with it. If that's... I just made it that easier. If you want to make it that easy for yourself, then you be my guest, my beautiful little honey buns. So for this one then, it may be a little bit confusing, but basically, just above the collectible cards on the left, you can see like a, a black card already. Now when it beeps, and you hear the beep, that is when you're supposed to jump over the obstacle. If it doesn't beep, you can hit it. So hopefully uh, I explained that one a little bit well. I think it's four jumps and three uh, hits, but listen out for the beep. 
If it beeps, jump over the obstacle. If it doesn't, just hit it. Okay. Who wants to play some hopscotch, you damn bastard kids? Well, this is what we need to do to get this one. Jump, hit, jump, hit, jump, hit, jump. You goddamn kid, get the hell off my onion with a belt. Okay, now I've lost it.
Christ, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? So, I mean, what if we were like a really, 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 really fat person who's just done a big marathon and then we couldn't just make it at the end? You calling that fat person weak? Screw you, game! Of course, I'm just joking. Uh, but we are actually coming up to the end of the game now. And as it was, that was the last one that we've got to do, which is bang nice, bang tidy. And we've only got two achievements left to get, and they are the easiest ones of the game. So what we need to do, press the start button, like now, go into your profile, and then that basically just restarts the game. So we're just going to obviously head back in. Welsh Hunter, hello Emil, hello Dennis, thank you for this very simplistic game, and another easy 1000. Mr. Philip Weigel. I'm not very good at pronouncing um, other names that aren't just commonly British. <laughs> By the way, I am useless at it. But once we jump back into the game here, we will now get the Welcome Back Collectible Card and the Welcome Back Achievement. Which is always nice of a minute. Uh, thanks, buddy. And then, with that then, we actually get the Collector Achievement as well, and that is for collecting... All of the cards. Now, I think on the Steam version, you actually had to do the final run. Um, but thank you to the Xbox version, we don't have to. So, that's pretty much it then, <laughs> guys and cows. Literally 20 minutes of pure joy pressing the A button slash cross on the PlayStation. That is that. There you go. 16 out of 16. Nice. So, there we go then. Hope you enjoyed the game. Hope the guide helped as well. If it did, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. A uh, big shout out as well to everyone who continues to support the show on Patreon, and even those that are not on Patreon, massive thanks to you all who continue to support the show. And, well, brr, well, that's it there, guys and gals. I will see you in the next one. Bye, 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 glove.